Can you kind of tell us how a lot of this unfolded? Like my understanding is that you, um, you finished up your training for the Arnold, you won the Arnold, uh, once again, and then you were going to, you were planning on, you know, hitting this deadlift. Uh, you were going to go and compete and do it at a regular event. Um, and then, so how did, how did this part come to be of, of you, uh, you know, trying this 501 kg, kg deadlift out of competition? Mm-hmm. Like, like um, all of you know, strength fans know. People that have been training, uh, you know, you guys know that you know when you peak for something, especially something big like this, you know, you you don't want to, you know. I've been I've been hearing people um, comparing this to the Olympics. You know, you can't compare the things. You can't compare those things two together because it's like completely two different sports uh, I was aiming on peaking for Bahrain that was supposed to happen you know actually already but, but be, be, be because of COVID-19 that got postponed or you know they, they don't even have a date yet for that so I uh, spoke to the or the organizer, organizer of that event, the World's Ultimate Strongman, and asked if they would be willing to host the event in Iceland where I could actually, you know, try and break the record here. And they thought that that was, that was a brilliant idea, you know, it would be cool for the people at home that, you know, are in lockdown. It would be cool to bring something awesome like this for them. Which I agreed with, you know, and we have been doing everything in our power to make it as legit as possible. In my opinion, it's even harder to, to do something that incredible in in a gym rather than competition. When you compete, you thrive with the crowd, with the adrenaline rush that gives you the extra, you know, push that you need. Doing this by myself almost, you know, I'll, I'll have, you know, camera people there. I have a doctor there. You know, I have Magnus Ray, Magnus Ray, four times, well, just my referee refereeing me, you know. Um, you know, having just these few people, but, you know, not the spectators that, you know, will give you the extra rest you need. You know, all top level athletes, they know that, you know, competing in front of crowds, that gives you, you know, like, definitely like extra 10 percent power um so I, honestly i'm a little bit worried you know i that i don't have that but but I, 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 at the same time i'm excited you know what did you what did you think able to yeah, what do you what do you think about the uh, like some people are worried about the legitimacy of the lift and you talked about you know briefly there how uh, that that really shouldn't be in question but I think Eddie Hall has taken exception to it and a lot of people in strongman have taken exception to it some people are like this is not good for our sport they're they're really connected to this record and they feel that maybe you know in some way that this particular competition or this particular lift uh won't be legitimate what are your thoughts on that you know all the plates are going to be live streamed and wait on the spot i've 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 honestly never seen that be done before it's going to be live streamed on espn uh this uh specific lift has been you know, talked about more than any other, you know, competition or or, 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 or lift in Strongman since it started. In like at least what I've noticed, it is it's getting a huge attention. How is that bad for the sport? How is how is you know? I think I think we are going in the right direction. Live streaming stuff, bringing it fresh to the people. Of course, you know, these conditions aren't controlled by me. I can control COVID-19. And I think, you know, it's more like a personal tour. At the thing, I think, you know, 500 kilos, kilogram is, the deadlift is like a legacy for him. He won the world Series man. And then he took that record. And, and those two things mean a lot to him. And he doesn't want to lose that record. And he, I think he just believes that 
I'm capable of breaking it. If he wants to track it more, he's not willing to let me have it hmm. already. That's why he's like not so happy about it. Yeah, when we had uh, Eddie Hall on not too long ago, he admitted on air that he's like, yeah, Thor is stronger than me. However, I don't know if he has the mindset to even get there. Um, how much emphasis do you put on something like that? And have you been doing any kind of like um, psychology or some any kind of uh, like mindset, ed, like uh, techniques or anything like that? I honestly, you know, I find that a little bit like, I want to say laughable that he thinks I don't have the mindset for it, you know. I literally want every single uh, Stormer competition there is to win in Stormer, at least the big ones, you know. And few of them, you know, many times. I've been on the podium on the World Series Man uh, since 2012. You know, I, I don't think a lot of people can say that, you know. Um, I've won, that was someone classic three times in a row. There's actually only one other person in the world that has done that, you know, one that showed three times in, in, in a row. That's uh, Situ Savika, so one of the greatest of all time. So for him to say that is, you know, he, I don't know. It's just, to me, it's laughable, you know. That's all. Along with that, you know, on Twitch the other day, you said that not only would you be able to pull 501, but you mentioned 520. Now, like, do you feel that 501 is in the tank and that you have the capacity to also be able to full pull 522? Has your training been going that well? Because that 470 you did was crazy. Yeah, it felt extremely light, to be honest with you. I, I truly believe that I'm capable of more than 501. I honestly believe I'm capable of 520. And I told my, um, I, I just started to stream not so long, uh, tweets, I mean, not so long, 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 long ago. I'm streaming there uh, to new audience. And I told them if I can get my tweets account up to 200,000 followers, I will deadlift 520 kilograms. Which is not uh, 520 kilograms. Didn't I say that? Yeah, 520 kilograms. Which, in my opinion, is not. You know, I, I think it can reach that. And I, I want to, you know, involve the people in this well. You know, bring more attention to it because you know I believe I can pull more, and you know I want to. You know, yeah. You know, this is. I want to set myself goals, high goals, and I truly believe that I'm capable of pulling more than 501. Has the uh, the 470 been the most you've lifted in the gym thus far? The most I've lifted uh, in the gym is 480 kilograms. I did that uh, a few weeks before the Arnolds, but that was, of course, on elephant bar. Um, but you know, with a regular bar, I've pulled 470. And when you've been in the sport for more than a decade, uh, you you know start to learn how your body works. You start to learn how to peak. Uh, and I also work with a lot of lot of great people. Uh, Mike Coates, Australian co- Australian strength coach. Uh, I work with him. I've uh, been working with him for a few, few, few years now. And then uh, Stan Efferting, uh, my nu- 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 nutrition coach, working with him as well for a few years. Yeah. So having these, these, these you know, two great minds with me to help me succeed to this high level, you know, it, it makes things, what can I say, um, you know, easier, you know. When you break this record, because geez, you've been looking amazing, if potentially... Uh, they end up saying you broke the record, but since it wasn't in competition, it's unofficial. Would that make you feel differently about it? Or would you still be just as happy about breaking it? And then you just break it officially later on. It's, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's unsafe. It's involved, involved, ultimate strong man. Uh, I'm doing it as official as it gets, you know, um, if you guys are so confident that this is so easy, I challenge you guys to go tomorrow or whenever you guys are ready and that it's 501. Um, I, I doubt there's many people that can do it. You know, I think no one probably except me. And of course, I did, did it back in 2016. You know, people are, 
people like it's people think it's easier in the gym. How is it easier? It's it's, it's the same weight, guys. Mm-hmm. Like, ah, uh, yeah, I'm not drowning, but so did not Eddie. Uh, yeah, I'm using the plates that I use in the bar. You know, same with Eddie. You know, there's no really difference here. You know, I I would perform the same way in my gym as in a competition. If some people want to say it's unofficial, it doesn't bother me. That's fine. Say that. If if Ati want to still say that he has the world record with 500 kilograms when I break, break it, you know, that's fine. It doesn't bother me, you know. I'm doing this for myself. That's that's all. And whatever people think, it doesn't bother me. You know, this is all done for myself. 